cannot believe I actually went to support Idabasi. Sorry, you just lost a friend. My Haley is not free because you've promoted dog eating. My captain is in danger because you've promoted dog eating. My comrade is not safe. It's okay, they're all safe. They are safe. They are safe. <laughs> <laughs> This is a fang soup, this is a litan soup, this is fisherman soup, and then we have different assortments of meats you be, and swallow. Fufu yem. And yem ekot fufu. With palm wine. And then we also have palm wine. And dog meats. Dog meat, you people. <laughs> Aja, what's Aja? <laughs> we will try this all today. You guys, I know. <laughs> this is dog meat. We're going to try dog meat for the very first time. Mm. Me, I not try. If that try, you tell us how it is. Because Mike, I cannot try. It's Kim, I try, try. Uh, You want me to eat dog? Uh -huh. As you eat dog, <laughs> you for yes, I will. Just this one. Ah! Now this video has gotten to the last nerves of the Dog Owners Association of Nigeria, or Lagos, my dog and I. And she said the members are now coming out. Those who are having dogs and those who love dogs and all that, they are coming out and they came out to bash Hilda Bassi. Some people are actually saying they regret going to stand in the rain for 100 hours to support Hilda Bassi. Some people regret even tweeting. Some people regret going there. Some people regret even talking about Hilda Bassi for her to trend. Just because Aquaibon people eat dog. And this is why they are angry. People have made videos. Just said the videos with the kind of thing they are saying. Watch this video. Good evening. My name is Jackie Idibogu, president of my dog and I group. And um, current leader of the dog lovers um, community. I... I'm so livid right now because I'm, I'm not someone that gets angry easily, okay? I'm a very quiet, down-to-earth person. But 
this particular issue has got me really worked up. So, Hilda Bassi is someone that I don't know personally. I didn't know her at all. I've not heard about her at all until, you know, they started posting the whole Cookathon thing. I personally, you know, on dog, uh, my dog and I uh, group page, we post everything to encourage to build, trying to build a dog lovers community in Lagos. And I personally went to her page to go through her page to see if there's anywhere she posted anything with the dog so that I could use it, you know, to ginger the dog lovers to be behind her and, you know, support her. But I didn't see that. Then I read that she was from Aquarium. Bomb. I was a bit skeptical. I'm like, uh, but no, she looked like a very, you know, advanced, exposed young lady. I didn't want to, you know, think the worst of her. During the cookathon, members of my dog and I group wore their shirts to go and, you know, support Hilda. Dogs were present at the cookathon to support Hilda. I know that there were about two or three dogs because when my group members went there, my dog and I group members went there, they made sure to take pictures and videos, you know, with every dog present. Now imagine my surprise this evening, scrolling through Instagram and then I see on a news blog that this same Hilda posted that she's eating a dog with a Niola. And Niola, I am disappointed because I, 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 I they, you are supposedly the president of Gen Z, you know, and I know you are a dog person. I don't know if you're a dog lover, but I know you have pictures with dogs. So um, he insisted he did not eat the dog, but I would never be found on a table where dog meat is being served. You won't see me there for anything. So whether you ate the dog or you did not eat the dog, I don't know about that. But even sitting at a table, where the delicacy, the so-called delicacy being served, is a dog meat. That's a taboo. So Hilda, in her infinite mercy and, 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 and wisdom, thought that the best thing for her to do after the world celebrated Nigeria through her relentlessness. She's brave. She's strong. She did something that I thought impossible. She cooked for how many hours? Uh, four days or five days? A hundred hours, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have been waiting for Guinness to upload it. And then you decide to show, now that the, the touch light of the world is on you, on Nigeria, through you, you decide that what you want to show in the world is that Nigerians are dog eaters? No. No. I'm making this video to refute the fact that Nigerians are not dog eaters. We do not eat dogs. We are dog lovers. There's a dog lovers committee in a few weeks ago. Is it up to two months we're chanting justice for Roxy, justice for Roxy, justice for Roxy. Sweating, running up and down, doing walks, getting burnt in the sun, looking for justice for a dog that was gone down. And then we celebrate your victory as a way to, to, to unite Nigeria. And then you do what? You eat our babies? What you do to repay us, the dog lovers that supported you, because I know how many dogs, even my dog and I posted you. I my personally, I posted you on my page. And I am a dog mom. So Hilda, what you're trying to tell me is that my son is a delicacy to you. That Arthur is food. You're trying to tell me that if you see my son, what you see is a delicacy. What you see is spice and, and, and pepper. And what you're going to put together to make him taste better. And you even have the effort to tell him that hey, if you eat it, will you die? That means you have no pity. You have no emotion. You have no empathy whatsoever. Do you know how dogs are killed? Do you know the method they use in slaughtering these dogs? They don't even slaughter them. They don't. They don't just slaughter dogs. They, some, they use something to hit their head. They have very cruel, cruel, wicked ways that they kill these dogs before they eat them. And you say what? You should try it. You made dog meat. You put it on your plate for the world to see that Nigerians are eating dogs. Dog lovers, we cannot take this. We will not take this. Please, let us make a stand. Cancel the dog eater. We do not eat dogs. Dogs are our babies. They are our babies. They are our family. Dog is not food. Dogs are not food. Thank you. 
Now that is not all. There are more videos to come. Share your views in the comment section. Do you think they are overreacting? Or you think it's fair for them to react this way because they are dog lovers? And the person that they support to go and take the Guinness World Record is eating a dog. Do you think they should um, feel this way? They have legit reason. Now some people have showed genuine concern that hey, Hilda Bassi has now become some international name because of her Guinness World Record attempt. And we know how in the West they love dogs. And we know how people love dogs. Dog is like man's best friend. So for her to put out such a video saying that the acquired bomb people eat dog, it will harm her brand. And also Eniola is an ambassador for Crocs. So for him to also be eating dog, no? it will harm his brand. That is what some people are saying. Let me know what you think in the comment section. The videos are long and they are all ranting on social media, blasting Hilda Bassi left, right, center. But one particular thing I find interesting is the way they love dogs, no? Are they sure they don't eat other animals? Because some people love chicken. So, hey, some people love fowls, not chicken. Chicken is the cooked fowl. Some people love fowls. Some people love a hey, cattle. If you go to India, they worship cow. They worship the cow. So if you are in Nigeria and you eat cow, cow meat beef, meanwhile you are angry at somebody for eating dog now. I don't know, it's some asset. I don't know. Because every other part of the world, no, people eat different things. If you go to China, they can eat frog. Maybe you don't like frog, but it's a delicacy somewhere. If you go to some part of the world, they eat a your friend saying um lizard, mouse. Meanwhile, you don't like it here. At the same time, no, some people also eat a cow, beef. Meanwhile, some people also don't like it at where they are. Some people eat in Ghana, some people eat dog. And other parts of Ghana too, some people don't like it. So is it really like that deep? For them to come and be making video trying to cancel Hilda Bassi because of this video. Because acquired bomb people eat dog. So why are they? Anyway, watch another video. I cannot believe I actually went to support Hilda Bassi. And now she promotes dog eating. Eating my babies. <laughs> hey, God. I'm a dog lover. I don't take shit. You don't promote eating my baby and you allow me watch a video like that you are not asking any if he eats dog will he die i can't believe any will sit at a table like that and promote dog eating whether i eat it or not he has promoted it sorry just lost the fan my heli is not free because you've promoted dog eating. My captain is in danger because you've promoted dog eating. My comrade is not safe. Madam, calm down, calm down. It's not your type of a dog. It's not poodle and all those things, no. It's your member chair that they eat. <laughs> I, calm down. I don't know whether they, they are thinking maybe it's, you know, these kind of foreign dogs. This, a, 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 the teddy bear dogs, you know? the German Shepherd and the small, small ones that the girls put in their handbag and take to class. No, it's the Yami Bechi and Yami Bechi. <laughs> so, whatever it is, you know, let me know in the comment section. Do you support Hilda Bassi? Do you think there are different cultures in different parts of Ghana? And any, every culture has their own unique uh, meat that they eat. There are some places that they eat low cost. Meanwhile, locusts, some places don't eat. There are some places that they eat worm. Some places they don't eat. There are some places that they eat dog. Some places they don't eat. There are some places that they eat horse. Some places they don't eat cow. Some places they don't eat. So do you think the people of Nigeria are overreacting? Or you think it's normal for them to react this way? Hi guys, Jackie Dimogu here from my dog and I and the dog lovers community. So I, um... I have been dragged all over social media today 
which is very much okay because um, I'm trying to talk about something that I am very, very passionate about. Now, there are a few notions I would love to correct. This is not a direct or indirect attack on Hilda or her culture or, you know, a whole tribe. No, it's not. It's about trying to buttress what I have been working actively for, for years. I'm an animal activist. I am the voice of these animals that cannot speak for themselves. And people that are saying that, um, you know, it's me riding on her platform. What I'm trying, the message I'm trying to pass to you that is, you have the torchlight of the world on you. There are so many other positive ways you could have, you know, showcased Akwai Bomb and its delicacies. They are beautiful food and culture and everything. Dog eating is something that is being frowned upon internationally. It is not a me thing. It is a worldwide thing. So bringing that to the knowledge of the world that is celebrating Nigeria through your wing is, I just felt like it's wrong PR you know it was not the perfect time dog eating is not something that should be promoted neither should it be celebrated okay so that is the message that i am trying to pass and for those saying that oh don't you eat goat don't you eat cow don't you eat chicken these are livestock see dogs are companion animals do you know what that means do you know how much dogs have evolved over the years they have evolved so much so that they are like humans right now dogs actually have jobs dogs save lives on a daily basis dogs are saving lives dogs are doing wonderful things for the community for the society how can you even begin to compare a dog to a chicken or a goat or a cow dogs are social animals that have come to you know evolve into things that humans cannot do with that i don't even want to use the cliche man's best friend no they are now more than man's best friend it's like we we depend on them a blind man literally depends on his dog to guide him so many sick people in the world depend on their dogs to get them navigate them through their illness their diseases their depression their mental health their autism dogs i'm just I'm, I'm trying to use my platform to appeal because it's not a fight though i can't fight the whole of uh, uh, like an entire tribe or an entire culture i can't do it but all i can do is try to sensitize people to understand that there are other ways to get the other means of protein apart from dog dog should not be seen as food dog is not food a dog is not food and to the people that are saying that it's a local dog, so your mentality is, eh, the dogs that are being brought from abroad, the German Shepherds, the Afghan Hounds, the South African Massive, the French Massive, those ones deserve to leave. But the ones that is Nigerian bred, the ones that are made in Nigeria, they don't deserve love. They don't deserve to have homes. They don't deserve to be nurtured. They don't deserve to be loved. They only deserve to be to end up in the pot of soup. Is that what you're saying? Because I see a lot of people saying that it's not a pet dog. That is a is local dog. It's a cookie. It's bingo. What is the difference between if you can give me ten different ten differences between bingo and a Lassa also or a German Shepherd? Just give me the differences. What is the difference? If you know how precious our local breed is outside this country, the, the, I don't even want to go into that because I know no, non-dog lovers will be like, it's not their business. Now, for the celebrities that are dragging me and saying it's their culture and everything, you people have seen scapegoats now. Yeah, you have seen scapegoats. Since it's your culture, since there's nothing wrong with dog meat eating, I dare you, show us the process of making your delicacy yes so it's called food blog vlogging abi eh? show us the process of getting the meat processing the meat chopping the meat 
spicing it up and preparing it on your platform post it on your page yes post it on your page since it's your culture and there's nothing wrong with it i'm talking to the celebrities though because i know some other people are going to be like yes i'll do it i'll do it i do the celebrities you people that travel abroad and do everything that are talking the one from big brother and the uh, daddy freeze that says culture no problem just eh? and okon yes okon yes okon abi please that your delicacy show us how you people make it take us through the process show us how you you know make such a sweet delicacy of yours i dare you and see and post it on your page post it on your page let's know that you are proud to eat your delicacy it's not to come and type it. Do it. Please. Please. The bottom of everything I'm saying is let's not see dogs as food. Do you think this will affect the bus's brand? Or you think people are just overreacting? Do you think a new last brand will be affected? Or you think people are just overreacting? Let me know in the comment section. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notification and like the video. Yeah, yeah,